Today we're gonna paint cactuses. For this project, you're going to want 11 by 14 inch multimedia paper that is at least the thickness of index paper. A size one and a size eight round brush, a one inch flat brush, a variety of acrylic paint colors, newspaper to cover your work surface area, paper towels, Kleenex, or toilet paper to help clean off your brushes, a bowl of water to rinse your brushes in, a cute dog, just kidding, that's optional, a surface to pour and mix your paint on, an apron or a paint shirt. Take another piece of 11 by 14 inch paper and use it to make a straight line about two thirds down your paper. This is called the horizon line and it helps orient our cactus in physical space. I recommend doing a search online for different cactus paintings and get an idea of different types of cactuses and styles and cactus pots and use that to inspire your design. Here are a few images I used to inspire the shape of my pots. I think it's a fun challenge to try to make each pot look totally different. Now you can start to lightly pencil in your cactus designs. Don't be afraid to mix and match different images. Now you can get your paint colors ready. I recommend really light colors in the background. I'm gonna use a super, super light blue. So I want my cactus colors to pop out. If I use a dark blue, they're just gonna disappear. I even decided here to go back and even add a lighter, lighter blue. An easy way to do this would be to pour a small puddle of white paint and then add just a tiny drop of blue to it and mix it together and you'll get a real nice light blue. Notice how I'm using a smaller brush to paint around the outline of the cactus. I'm doing that first. And then once I've done that, I can go back with a larger brush and fill in uh, the larger spaces. I recommend trying to mix three distinct colors for each of your three pots. I started with a brown base color and then I mixed a little bit of red, a little bit of orange, and a little bit of yellow with some white. Notice how when I clean my brush, I'm taking a paper towel and I'm pinching it on the brush. Then I windshield wiper it. That gets most of the paint off. Then I just dip it in the water. I don't stir it, I just dip it. And one more time, I pinch the brush and I windshield wiper it. Okay, I always do that and that keeps all this paint from getting washed down the drain. Once you have filled in your pot with a solid brown color, go back with a darker brown color and a small brush and just line the edges with that dark color. Then gently blend the edges. This will add a sense of depth and dimension to your pot. Now repeat this process with your other two pots using the different colors that you have selected. Again, notice how I'm going back and outlining this pot with the darker brown color, and then I'm gently blending that darker brown in with the lighter brown while the colors are still wet. If you have any trouble blending, you can go back and add some more of the light brown until you get a nice sense of the colors fading into each other. Don't worry about making it totally perfect. Just have fun with it. I'm gonna mix just a touch of black paint in with some white paint and mix some gray and I'm gonna put that on the ground. Remember to use the smaller brush to trace around and outline all of the more detailed areas first. Then you can go back and fill in with a larger flat brush. I've just mixed a darker gray color and I'm using that to paint shadows around the bottoms of my pots. I'm 
going to add a little bit more depth and dimension by painting a dark gray line across my horizon line. And then I'm gonna blend that in with a lighter gray color. I recommend mixing three totally different shades of green for each of your three cactuses. And for my middle cactus, I'm gonna use more of a classic green color. And for the cactus on the left, I'm going to add some blue to my green. So it's gonna be a very bluish green. This is a super fun opportunity to blend colors. So while your green paint is still wet, you can try taking some yellow color and some white color and your, with your smaller brush, add little bits of this to the middle of your cactus and then play around with blending it in and see what kind of effect you can create. Notice how it looks like the sunlight is hitting the surface of the cactus. Again here, while the paint is still wet, I'm adding just a hint of white and yellow into the center and blending it. I've added a lot of blue paint to this green and I'm super excited about this color. Spread the paint evenly over the surface with nice back and forth brush strokes. If you're having any trouble staying inside the lines, then switch to a smaller brush size. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun if you could actually paint this fast? Now it's time to add some flowers. If you look at the cactus image that I'm basing this painting on, you can see it's got some spikes. So I'm gonna go and add some spikes to my cactus with some dark green. I recommend using a size one or a size zero brush for this. I decided to add tiny yellow polka dots on this middle cactus, but I thought I'd offer a couple other options. You'll see on the left, there's a oranges colored stars and on the right, these tiny yellow dashes. So be creative and have fun. Here I'm gonna add tiny black spikes and white dots. So again, you wanna use a really tiny brush for this. Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>